Live at KL, L ADL Championship Slingers versus the Dragons. The Dragons with a shutdown defense and a relentless attack. The early match of their inside out game, wearing down the Slingers from the third quarter on. Disappointment for Singapore, exaltation for the Dragons as they win it. Arena to the brand new season seven of the ASEAN Basketball League as we tip off the campaign here at the OCBC Arena with a game between the visiting defending champions of Westport Malaysian Dragons. There they are on the right, and the hometown Singapore Slingers last season's runner-up team. Both of these teams have undergone transformation since last year. We'll talk about all that a little bit later. Chuck Schreiner along with Kyle Jeffers over here enjoying Star Hub's coverage of the 2016-2017 season, and we have the uh, introduction of the Malaysian team, the defending champions, as we said before, but uh, they have gone through some transformations. As we said, gone are the four guys that helped them get there last year, Calvin Godfrey, Matt Wright, Reggie Johnson, and Jason Brickman in with the new, and there's one of them right there, Marcus Melvin. Skyler Spencer, the 22-year-old, and Thai American Freddie Goldstein. There is Melvin right there. You remember him from the Merleyine Cup. He played against the Slingers, scored 34 points when he played for Cal Xiong, and uh, will be coming on with the Singapore Slingers. The hometown crowd a little bit thin tonight as uh, people are still coming in here from work. We expect the crowd to get a lot thicker as the evening wears on. Cheerleaders are here, as is Merlion himself, as we get ready to welcome the Singapore Slingers for the 2016-2017 season. Sea of red here in the crowd at the OCPC Arena, beautiful little purpose-built arena. They also use it for basketball, but the primary purpose is to house these hometown Slingers, and we'll be watching coming through the cheerleaders any moment. There's a COO and assistant coach Michael Johnson there to your left. The dynamic personality that has been mostly responsible for the recitation of this Singapore uh, Slingers team. As we said, runners up last year coming agonizingly close to winning it all. And there is the new player on the Singapore Slingers team. Number one, Alex Austria. He toiled for the Philippines MX3 last year. Des Mano, starting guard. Defensive position, magician, not position, long way long. That's not yet. That's number 13, Aiden Long. Newcomer to the team, 22 year old. He's a forward. Another newcomer, old comer, so to speak, Mitchell Volkov, 27 years old, 5'10 guard. They brought him in for some stability. The Slingers do have uh, some injuries at the guard position. Kelvin Lim, number 22, the 20 year old, 6'2 guard. Singapore loaded with the position players at the guard. Not so much at the inside positions. We'll talk about that. And there is Wang Wei Lung, the heart and soul of this team, most viable player as far as local players go the last couple of years. Number 10, Leon Quek, 19 year old. They are expecting big things from Leon this year. Had a fabulous season last year off the bench. And one of the mainstays, they brought him back. The X-Man, Xavier Alexander, averaged over 17 points a game and 10 rebounds last year. He will be asked to play a different role this year. Again, we'll talk about that later. Hung Bin Han, a defensive specialist, 27 years of age, 6'4". There is the man himself, Justin Howard, led the league in rebounds last year with 15, 21 points a game, 21.4 actually. The 35 years old, all sorts of questions. Can he keep his health? Can he stay out of foul trouble? Out he goes. That will determine in a large degree how far the Slingers goes. And Kyle, I know you're just as excited as I am. A new look Malaysian Dragons. A sort of new look uh, Singapore team uh, with, the, with the absence of Chris Rizal, the new point guard in the area. We'll just have to see how it goes. Yeah, you know, I think I think both teams are, are coming in 
around this uh, competition to try to get that rematch. And I do feel that uh, we're going to have a good one tonight with the new faces, old faces. Everybody's here to come play some good basketball. Getting ready to start uh, the game. We'll be looking at the starting five here in just a minute. There is Austria, the guy we talked about. Alex Austria averaged seven points a game. If you look at the starting lineup for the singer, Wang Wei Long, Wei Ming Leong, Quick, Xavier Alexander, the X-Man, back for a second campaign. Han Ping Hung and Justin Howard on the other side of the ball. Ma, Spencer, two, Goldstein, and Melvin. We know all about Goldstein. He had a fabulous campaign last year for Thailand. Spencer, uh, he is the ace of the hole. We don't know much about him. Apparently, he's a very good defender. Marcus Melvin, again, we saw him in the Merlin Cup. His pedigree is fabulous. So we have a Malaysian Dragons team that uh, is a lot different than last year. The Slingers pretty much stand pat. So uh, let's take a look at some of the interviews that we had before the game. New season, okay, it's a new, new season, so basically, I, in the final, it's his pass, so, and uh, basically the new coach, they got a new team, and uh, I'm looking, I mean, it's not a revenge, it's just learn from the mistake last year and get better this season. Excited you know, to play against them, you know, especially during the first game of our ABL season. Um, looking forward to it, and uh, you know, I, I'm so excited that you know, I just want the game to start right now. Same like last year, we need to get ourselves into the first spot, then in the final and hopefully get a championship. I have no doubt that this year will be the toughest the league's ever been. I think the parity in the, in the league is going to be great. Um, we expect a better result uh, as compared to last year. So this year, you know, we're just going to dive hard, um, you know, play our hearts out there and um, be better than last year. So Chuck Schreiner here with Kyle Jeffers and Kyle, as we said, uh, brand new season and uh, a lot of things. One, Kyle Jeffers, my partner in crime here, Hello. Kyle, Hello, the next Chuck. Singapore a slinger himself. And always uh, great to kick off the season or tip off the season in this case. Lots of expectations for the slingers. They've excited Singapore. I wonder uh, what we can look forward to this season. Yeah, you know, they're they're hungry. They had a bit of they had a taste of some success last season. This year, I, I spoke with uh, Coach Neil personally, and their whole main focus is to win that championship this year. That's the only thing on their mind. Always tough on defense, the Slingers this year, of course. A little bit down, they were expecting to have Delvin go or Russell Lowe, one of those two bigs, to help give uh, uh, their bigs a little bit of a break. Alexander and Justin Howard not to be, so they're going to have to play yeah. a lot of minutes. Yeah, you know, uh, it, it reminds me of the days when I was playing for the Slingers when you know I had to play 40 minutes a game, and that's just the way it was because there, there was no size. and. Hopefully there will be no foul trouble with the bigs this season. They should be smart enough to understand to play smart. Uh, don't 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 commit any silly fouls, and they need to stay on the court in order for them to have a good chance throughout and, and grab those big rebounds down the line. Chris Thomas, the new coach, remember replacing Van Gardy, who did such an excellent job with the Westport Malaysian Dragons. Thomas comes with a very good pedigree. Also was a scout uh, for the Chicago Bulls, Utah Jazz, and apparently has bonded very, very closely. You can see an example of that. Uh, nothing like an American coach to bond with the American players, and it's infectious. It wears off on everybody. Yeah, you know, that's that's something that I saw earlier on. A lot of these players, uh, the, the, the players that he picked up, America, they, they seem to to choose him as a coach, and not just because of the money, but they they, they uh, appreciated the friendship that was built, which is, which is quite unique. The Dragons also coming off the Asian Club Championship where they finished last in Group B. Did not have a good Merlion Cup. Of course, they did not have their expats with them. It was pretty much a, a, a full complement of local guys. Talking about Chris Thomas, he was the assistant coach at Dayton. That's a big-time program in 2000 yeah. to 2003. Coach at Moi, Ma, uh, Miami of Ohio, coach over in Slovenia, and the head coach of the Orangeville A's last year in the Canadian Pro League. As we are underway, the rebound or the tip-off control by Alexander Singapore in white, going from right to left. Ball in the hands of the X-Men, gets it down to Howard at his feet, kicks it back outside again, rotation over to the right. That's where the overload is. A foul as the X-Men drives the lane, splits the defenders, a first foul. That will go against Malaysia, and that will put the X-Men at the line. Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting to see the guys come out, you know. I know how I know how it is on the first game. You know, you're a bit nervous. You need to get comfortable. And I think uh, Xavier there, he did the right thing, going in the hoop, getting his confidence up. Let's get layups first. I think that's the first thing going through a player's mind. And uh, hopefully, as it comes, the game, the game will start uh, flowing smooth. And that goes on both sides, you know. you got to get your confidence up and, and get used to the atmosphere. First games are always going to be the hardest, no matter no matter what sport you're playing. you gotta get, you got to shake off the jitters and get in there and play hard. 
Next man 0 for 1. He wasn't that great of a free throw shooter last year. Rattles out on home. Singapore draw first blood, 1 0. Complimentary uh, full court pressure by the Slingers. You can see the X-Man. There was a mismatch to see if the Dragons tried to take advantage Dragons of that. Melvin on the X-Man. So you got a 6-9 going against a 6-5 guy. Although uh, the X-Man is a smart player. Xavier yeah. plays bigger than his height, but Melvin, he is a true wide body. So we'll yeah. see how that develops. Yeah, yeah, he's a brick house down there. But uh, Xavier is a strong player, and like you said, he's smart. So as long as he gets good position, he should be able to have Melvin there. Yeah, tough shot. Tough shot there by Goldstein. Those are that. That's that uh, shaky jitters we're talking about, and not what I was. Not what Xavier did by getting to the rim, taking a long shot. It's not going to go your way a lot of the time, especially in the first game, first shot. Skyler Spencer, you saw the graphic on him, number six, 6'10", 22 years old. Post up move in the lane, little back up shot, one hand jumper is no good. Tip back out, Malaysia, one and out. Rebound by two. Back comes Freddie Goldstein in the open court. Kicks it back outside again. Melvin, he can hit that shot. Short that time, though. Ball bounces around. Rebound taken by Spencer. 1-0 board so far for the Dragons. Goldstein back outside. He cuts in. Makes a positive run. Now back outside to get the ball. The screen thrown by Spencer. Reverses. Up and good. Nice shot there by Goldstein in traffic. Yeah, that was a tough shot there. But again, he really learned from his first shot there. He got into the rack, got to the cup, got a basket there. Tough shot though, tough make over, over some long hands there. Wet getting a start. He gives the ball up, goes down to the low post. That overload on the right hand side. Thought about it long. Three is going to be off the mark. Rebound scored there by number six, Spencer. His first one, so he gets his baptism of fire. First four for him. Welcome to the ABL. Goldstein left hand. Late whistle, we've got a foul on the penetration, no shot. That's one thing that's hurt the Slingers always in the past is, is, is guard penetration. If they do not correct that early, oh. they're going to struggle. You know, they cannot. That was just way too easy for Goldstein to just go left and get to the cup so quickly. And then with the foul, this means you weren't prepared to play that play right there. Way long as you pick it up a little bit. So Goldstein directing traffic, looking for movement. Spencer a little bit confused. Now he goes back on Howard. Howard after coming out on him, Spencer again to the left hand. Back up jumper is good, so Goldstein finding some space in between defenders, just sort of what you alluded to. The guards a little bit loose on their play in yeah. the back court. That was a good move, though. That was a good move, but, uh, you know, they gotta, they gotta pick it up there. They gotta be ready, you know. You can pull up with that jump shot. You can go into the back. He's a strong guard, so uh, they, need a, they need to get a little bit more team cohesive on the defensive end. We got, we're going to keep the ball to Justin down low. That's the right idea, but they got to be cutting after they pass the ball. They can't just be standing and watching. Howard at the 24-second buzzer. He gets it to go after one second, but can't get it in. And here comes Melvin. Melvin, busted play on the floor. Goes to Xavier. Nice play by him. Kicks the ball out to Un. Will skip back inside. Nice recovery by Malaysia on defense. Yeah, we got to catch those passes down low. Well, nice side there by Skyler. You can see him trying to attempt the alley oop. You've got to give him a 10 for a attempt. No execution though. The follow up is good. Counted in one. That's exactly. That was great. That was great ball movement. You know, they brought the ball one side, weak side. Leon Quek was open. They had to rotate out, and, and that left the, the nice, strong bounce pass down low to Justin for an easy two, and uh, big boy Melvin there couldn't stop it early enough, and I think he just committed a silly foul. That's right, little push on the back. Better off giving Justin that. Yeah, just might as well just, yeah, you're not going to block his shot. You're not going to get there. You might as well just just let him make the two instead of giving him the opportunity for the free throw play. So Slingers tying it up at four here early on. 6.36 to go here in the first quarter. Chuck Schreiner, Kyle Jeffers coming at you from the OCPC arena. Oh, here we go one. with that. Uh, that they're trying to do the sniper trap there at the, at the half court, which is uh, a, new, a new feature they've added into their defense, I think, to put pressure onto the guards. And uh, good defense there by Han Ben, you know. Great defense, good kick out. Blows real well through the Slingers. Great pass. Great pass over the top, another pass. Leon Quek looking for his big, his big teammate down low, feeding him nicely, giving him a good scoring opportunity. And Justin finishing it nicely there with the reverse layup on the right side. Victimizing Skyler Spencer there, who came out a little bit too far. A little drop step move, beautiful drop step move by Howard to get behind him. 
inside. Again, that man Goldstein. And lucky not to get that as he squeezes in between two defenders. The lead pass up in there. It's a great run out, you know. But, uh, the Slingers are building on their fast break transition. You can see there, they're in great shape right now, and they're actually getting out in the open court and, and pushing hard, and that was an easy two for Leon Quek that. Leon Quek getting in between two defenders, getting a step on his man. Great help side. Good closeout. Good closeout, good box out. The Slingers are looking all right right now. You know, they got to keep on getting this open plays here. They're getting good open looks in the transition court. Wide open look from the right-hand side by Ung is good. Or check that is off for the foul. Oh, that's, see, that's, that's, that's on Melvin. You know, that's two. It's two, it's two early. That's two. That, that's, he's telling the coach he's okay right now. And if he's a smart player, he, he, he will not commit any silly fouls. But again, this is Asia, and it's a lot different than other places he played. He's got to be careful and not pick up another third one here in the first quarter. Well, in the Murley on Cup, uh, Melvin, as we look at that, get there by Leon Quick with a little fadeaway. But we saw Marcus Melvin in the Murley on Cup pile. Uh, he picked up a lot of fouls, too. He fouled out of a couple of games. So. Right. Yeah, so he needs to, he really needs to watch himself. You know, that's something that he can't be doing here. The little runner in the lane is off by Goldstein. Justin Howard with the rebound. Singapore building on a six-point lead. They look good in transition. They seem to be a step quicker. That's right. In the open court, uh, Kyle. Yeah, no, I mean, the, the, the Slingers definitely like to get out and run in the open court, and they've been running a lot in the offseason from what I got from Coach Neal when I had a chat with him. And, and uh, that, was a, that was a decent shot by Justin. Yeah. He's been making that in practice. Right. I've, been, I've been seeing him play. Uh, and, and he needs to get his confidence up early. But the one thing is, I know they're going to win games this season. They're going to have to beat him in the open court and get those easy points whenever possible. Great defense there by, by Howard. Another rebound, and he got to look up the court. He made a teammate open. He got to give it to him. Nice job there by Wall to catch Alexander in the open court, doing exactly that, getting behind the defenders. One step off the glass and in, and that's going to call a timeout there for Malaysia. They are down 12-4. Good start by them, but it's been all Singapore. There it is again. Again, in transition. A step quicker. So Singapore with a 12-4 lead at the break. There's Coach Neo right there, and uh, he's got to be real happy with what's transpired so far. Sort of leaving off uh, their strong punk they had last year when they had that marvelous 16 and 4 season pile. Yeah. Of course, Malaysia is one of the teams that didn't fall for that. But I, I, I think with the loss of a couple of these quick guards that Westport had last year, what they got back isn't as good as what they got now. No, you know, that's, that's exactly right, Chuck. And I feel uh, right now they're feeling that pain because some of these players are not used to being in the spotlight playing such big minutes. And I do know that with their with Brickman and uh, and Wright last year, they are very strong dynamic guards playing off each other with some decent experience, and they, they gelled well and played played some solid uh, basketball together. But this group now, they're trying to figure out ways to score, how to work together, and they're struggling a bit. And I don't think they're used to getting up and down the court as uh, as the Slingers are. Who's, who's, Looking up the court, looking to push. That's their philosophy this year. Open court, look up, re secure the ball, and hit up. And they've gotten already six points, uh, even eight points on, on on open layups down low. And that's that's, that's a pretty good start. Skyler Spencer, number six, and Marcus Melvin, 54. The Colts a couple times, just not being able to get back. But it's not all on them. A couple of their cohorts, you can see them. Whenever you see a player uh, backpedaling like uh, we saw in the open court with the. Uh, a white shirt to their left and their right, you know things aren't going the way. And there is another look at Thomas there. He's all smiles. It's early, 12-4, and then you can bet that they'll make some adjustments. Yeah, he's not He's not worried. And in games like this, you know, you got to settle down. Uh, the Slingers keep their keep their foot on their throat. It might be a different might be a different smile on his face, but I think he's, he's confident his team will settle down and, and start playing. There's a foul there below. She Fai checking into the game number 20 for Malaysia. Yeah, they're putting him in because they need some scoring, some scoring firepower, and, and he also brings a lot of uh, leadership and experience to the court, something that uh, they didn't have on the on, on the start of the game. There's a youngster, Wang Yi Hao, number, only 20 years of age, number 11 at the line. So he'll shoot two with 418 to go here in the first quarter. We got a good one here at the OCBC Arena. Game one of this 2016-2017 ADL season. Chuck Schreiner, Kyle Jeffers coming at you here. 
just as we said, Kyle, the play starting to fill up a little bit. It is a Friday evening and some rain outside here yeah. in the Lion City, so that probably delayed some people getting here, but uh, yeah, slowly right. but surely filling it up. No, I, when, I was, when I was walking in, you know, about 20 minutes ago, you're actually seeing, seeing people just already get in a little bit earlier, more so than you would in the past, and I think uh, people are excited for this season here in Singapore. Long shot by Wong Wei Long, way off the mark. Goldstein with the crossover on Wong. There's the switch back outside. Melvin can take that shot. Short that time there. Gets it back, and yeah, Spencer, the fortuitous bounce there, front rim, that often happens, and Spencer camped out on the low post, gets the return pass up and in easy. Yeah, that's Good. something that the guard's gotta watch out for. You can't allow for that uh, that long rebound. You gotta box out and get those, get those rebounds. There's a lead pass on the floor with a nice block from behind by Leon Wett. Back comes Singapore, Wong in traffic. Howard from that left-hand side, short on that, and you can certainly tell that the guys don't have their rhythms yet. A lot of short shots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit frustrated right now. He normally will knock that down, but again, like he said, uh, he just gotta just keep on shooting, keep your head up. You can't really worry about it. Just like the just like the Westport Malaysia Dragons, you know, they're gonna continue to play hard, and things will start falling for him. Long arcing shot over the outstretched yeah, arms of Howard shot. changed that shot, and here comes Alexander. Gets the ball off on that right side. Quick with another shot. Yes, Leon Quick. He's having a good one right now. Lights out. Six points for him. So that spreads the lead back up to six. The 19-year-old, look out, almost losing the ball. And meanwhile, Melvin talking to his teammates for some reason. Over there, number one, Alex Austria getting ready to come into the game. Pick up in the offseason for the Slingers. Long three again by Goldstein. Flushes it down for three. And again, uh, as you were saying, Kyle, you've got to get a hand in his face. He is a dangerous hombre. Yeah, you, you don't want him to get off on you. You know, he's one of those guys that's a very, very uh, strong scorer. Once he starts filling the basket, you know, he's, he's really hard to stop. And, and there's a tough foul on him. You know, you've got to gotta control your, your temper. You might have run into the screen, but you can never extend your arms like that. And the referee made the right call. It was a good call. you got to control the game like this early. Emotions are running high. Uh, the tenacity is there, but as a player, you got to be smart. You got to know what the referees are calling, and that's something that we know that the referees are not going to be taking this 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 time around. Desmond O checking in the game number two for Singapore. Defensive specialist Howard skipping past one defender. O with the first shot of the game, nubs up against the backboard. No good. Saved by Howard. Nice hustle play back in. Back outside it goes. Now Austria getting his first touch. Barking out signals. Yeah, he's. Uh, I know he's anxious to get back in here. That's a good move. Very good move. He's a good player, you know. He is. And, and again, uh, we're seeing, we're seeing uh, the singers get some offensive rebounds because they are a bit bigger in uh, import position and they're, they're doing some good work down low. There's that drop step again. Justin Howard, great fundamentals. You know, that, that's a part of his game that often is overlooking. Look at the rebounds, look at the points. It all starts from his fundamentals. He is so solid on that low block. Yeah, you know, he has a size. You know, he's a, he's a solid seven foot one player uh, with, with great experience and, and, and solid strength that uh, some of these other guys, especially uh, the younger S Skyler Spencer, might have a bit hard time trying to trying to guard him. He might not have had too much experience against bigger players. So here we are seeing Justin Work take advantage of that. Good ball rotation by the Slingers. Xavier with the ball, post up, move ball knocked away. Nice play. Goldstein again in the open court, keeps it a little hot step, move up, can't get it to fall. Desmond O with the rebound, off and running. Are the Slingers again? Austria leading it now. Ball kicked out of bounds. It'll be Singapore ball. 1.23 to go here in the first quarter. It's been a good one. Five-point lead as Thomas barking out. Some sort of remarks to the referee. Turn and shoot by Austria. He's 0 for 2. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm interested why they're not continuing to go to, to, to Howard down low. I think uh, that's something they need to continue to expose early and, and get them all while Howard is fresh, you know, and ready to attack. Lost inside again that time. That's four turnovers that I've counted for Malaysia here in the first quarter. Number 11, the culprit there, the youngster, Wong Yi Hao, the 20-year-old. Osrey will run the point now. First chance we've had to look at him. He'll cut through, back outside to Quick. He's had the hot hand, fires up again. No good underneath. Spencer with the rebound. So one and out, back comes Goldstein looking left. Rotation to the right, however. Nice screen thrown there by Chu. 
That hop step move again, no good that time. Singapore off to the races. Osprey with the ball, looks left, fires left, off the O. Return pass to Flint. Well, yeah, I mean, they're doing, the singers are doing a good job getting up at the court. I think that was kind of a poor decision by uh, Austria there. He should have given it to Howard and reward his big man for running the floor. But uh, anyway, still still good play. They scored the, the points, but good decision making is still poor there. Still. Howard, without the presence of another big man, is going to be sorely tested this year. And they're changing the shot is Howard that time. You can see Spencer. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not used. I don't think he's very much used to that, where he uh, gets a good effort, good effort by, the, uh, by the fingers there. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Skyler Spencer is going to have a, a bit of a struggle if he's not used to playing against uh, long arms, seven-foot big body. And uh, it's something he's going to have to get used to at this pro level. One thing about Howard, people say, well, you know, he's 35 years old, getting a little bit long on the tooth, but he runs the court as well as anybody. If you look at the end of the first quarter, the Singapore Slingers with a seven-point lead. They lead 18-11. We come back to the OTBC Arena after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 18 11 is your score after the first quarter. Not a high scoring game, but uh, a lot of good things uh, in the tank for the Singapore Slingers already, especially their game in transition. They're playing tough defense in the interior. A couple of times, Malaysia's got the ball with the head of steam and down the court, uh, especially Freddie Goldstein. He had six points in that first quarter. He's a leading scorer for him for, for the Westport Malaysian Dragons. On the other side of the ball, the Slingers led by Quick and also. Justin Howard playing stalwart defense and uh, off offense also downstairs, ably assisted by Xavier Alexander. We haven't seen much good guard play as of yet by the Slingers, but I'm sure that will change as they continue to do what they do, Kyle. They rotate guards all the time. Yeah, I mean, that's what they have to do. You know, they got a heavy, heavy guard team here, and, and everybody wants to play. So from, from the philosophy that I know with uh, Coach Neo and, and Michael Johnson, they they definitely want to exert the guards, pressure them full court, and uh, tire them out, and then keep on rotating guards in there and getting them a run. Get you some stats here from the first quarter in just a moment. Long shot in that left-hand corner, well short, and you can see both these teams up. Again, you talk about timing. You can't expect them to be in midseason form no. already, but uh, we're seeing good examples of that already. We look at the... Uh, Turnovers in the first quarter, Slingers with three, three also. I counted with four, but never mind, three each. And uh, the scoring, Kyle, I'll leave that up to you, the rebounds and the scoring. Anything jump out at you? You know, there, there's a lot of misses, which is expected on the first game. Uh, and that's something that will definitely improve. But I think shot selection just needs to be a bit better. Uh, that was a tough shot again by, by Leon Quek. So. But uh, the Slingers are getting a lot of offensive rebounds. You know, they're... They're already at a total of uh, 15 team rebounds, uh, three offensive rebounds to uh, the team rebounds of 11 of only two. Uh, Malaysia, that I think uh, if, if the Westport wants to be in this game, they're going to have to control the boards and get, get not let the Slingers just continue to offensive foul offensive. there by Alexander. That is one on him. Slingers uh, 8 for 20 from the floor for 40% in that first quarter. 4 of 19 for Westport, 21%. I guess the silver lining there, you only trail by 7 when you're shooting 20% from the floor. Spencer with the ball, bumping up against uh, 
Howard and Howard again, as you said, using that wingspan up and changing the shot again with Spencer hanging around on the left hand side. Good recognition, getting it and flushing it home. Yeah, it was uh, that was a great pass by Goldstein. He got the he got the loose ball there. Saw his big waiting, waiting to get that layup, and he wants to get some easy points so he can get comfortable. And he uh he gave him a nice assist there. Off to the top ball watching that time, as you can see, did not follow up the play at all, did not back it up. Alexander off the screen, Howard draws the crowd. Oh, he almost came down with the ball. A little fade away by Quick. Can't get it to go this time. One and out. Back comes Goldstein and company. You gotta be honest here. This is, this is what we talked about early, uh, that the teams just need to settle down. Sometimes you might have a slow first quarter, but uh, as things go, they, they, can, they can start getting to the rim, and the, the singer's gonna need to pick that up. That, that's just way too easy. Yeah. That way too easy. Yuan, Yuan, his first bucket of the game. In fact, he comes in, his first touch is a score. Yeah, he's, he's, I know he's a player that's ready to do some big things this year. He has good size. He's been playing in the league now for a few years. Oh, that was a good move, and, and he's, you can see he's not scared anymore like he was when he was younger. Again, on the other side of the ball, Singapore getting caught jump shooting. On the other side, there's Goldstein filling it up, and right away, Malaysian Dragons tied up, so they come from a seven-point deficit in two and a half minutes, and they tied up, causing Coach Nyo to call a timeout, 18 apiece. Singapore a little bit on their back feet, Kyle, on defense. I don't know if they're a little bit nonchalant coming out of the first quarter, but uh, it hasn't served them well at all, and Freddie Goldstein continues to light it up. Yeah, he's going to do this all game, and, uh, and, you know, as a guard, you need to not give him any open looks. You need to play him tight on screens. You need to hedge hard as a big. You know he's starting to heat up. This is now the time where you got to take away those those open looks and make it even harder for him to, to score because you don't want him getting hot from the three-point line. You'd rather, have, you'd rather run him off the three-point line, get him to get into the lane where he's been struggling a little bit, uh, trying to make shots around the basket with his floaters. But, you know, that's just one thing that the Sixers need to adjust to. And I think they just came out of the, not a little this bit here. nonchalant there in that, second, in that, in that second quarter. Uh, Goldstein now in double figures with 12. He had seven at the quarter. Quick continuing to lead the way for the Slingers with eight. Alexander with three. Howard with seven for the Slingers. On the other side, the ball, Spencer with a pair. Quick, who just entered the game with two. So turnovers, as we talked about, not really an issue as of yet. Usually Singapore pretty good about taking care of the ball, but uh, a quick turnover and uh, laziness on defense, no other way to put it, really hurting Singapore at the beginning of the second quarter. So all the way back from 18-11, a coach Thomas, you can see the big smile on his face. He's a confident guy. He's seen this a lot. Yeah. So he's not going to let anything rattle him, especially this early. He's confident in his guys. No, that's right. I mean, he's, he has some, some good, strong basketball pedigree that he understands. Uh, how the game flows, and that's and that's just the way it is. Way long there with a quick first step, but he didn't put the ball on the ground as quick, and the referees made the right call. That's that's actually something they're cracking down on more. I feel this year, I've seen it at all levels. They're actually not letting the players get that zero step. They need to put the ball on the ground a lot quicker. So second turnover the quarter for the Slingers. Goldstein again. Austria working on him. Out comes Alexander to work on Quick. Melvin. Let's see. Yes, last touch by Melvin. And, you know, we saw him get it in with the referees a few times on Merlin. an excellent player, but uh, sometimes has problems with his focus. That can hurt you from time to time. Yeah, you know, in a, in a new league, when you're playing in a new area, you just have to just let the ball, just let things flow the way they go, and you can't really waste energy on, on too much. It's a tough shot there by uh, Austria. Ali Alistair, Austria. And I think... Uh, you know, he needs to get into the basket and get his confidence up before it takes any more jump shots. Yeah, we'll let it fly. A three is no good. Austria getting the board. Nice box out there by Howard. He's talking to Melvin. Alexander quick feed. Quick. Alexander, he'll take that from Threesville and drain it. The shot's definitely improved. I think one, I think one big reason is uh, the, the singers have been getting a lot in the shot zone, and they're bringing shots up, and that was a good-looking shot. He put that in, in motion. And uh, it, it was a good shot, good shot selection, open shot. Teams don't expect for him to shoot. Uh, good, good, good hustle play by Alexander again. You know, they, they got to grab this rebound. Off balance runner in the lane is no good by number 20. That's low. It was a great hustle play by by Westport. Get on the ground there by Quest. Now trying to attack it low. Melvin, a little bit of frustration. You can see he's trying to duck in between two defenders. He will get the call and. I think that'll be on Alexander. If it is, that'll be two on him. 
So the X-Man, you can see Coach Nolan saying you've got to switch in situations like that. There he is. That was good footwork by Melvin down low to hold his balance, getting bumped around by, by two big uh, slinger imports, but he was able to get the shot up and, and get the call. Melvin in college at North Carolina State. In fact, uh, he graduated 2004. Kyle, I don't know if you knew this, but all-time number six in three-point shooting for the Wolfpack, which is really saying something. They've got a great tradition over there. Yeah, he must have uh, really, really put up a lot of shots for that for that to be the case. I didn't, I didn't realize he had those stats. So Slinger's up by one. Austria again off to Alexander. And a lot of standing around by the Slingers. You can see it right there. Ung in the game now. A little bounce pass inside. A touch foul. Let's see who that goes on. That's what the singers need to do. They need to get in there, do the paint, attack the middle, come to a complete jump stop, look for players cutting and or open open players on the outside looking to shoot after they collapse the defense. But I, I can tell that Malaysia has uh, settled down a bit and um, it's going to be a game to see them. Austria not able to shake his defender. Tough angle there. He tried it with the left hand and a very acute angle can't get it to go nice. Recognition there by Goldstein. Lead pass inside, counted in one. And I believe that's going to be on Alexander. And if it is, that's three on him. Yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a foul you do not want to commit on a on a drive like that. Strong play by Quek. You know, he's, he's he's looking like a much different player this year. Much more confident. He's attacking he's attacking all players, and uh, that was a great move and and tough foul by. By Xavier Alexander to uh, give him his third in the second in his second quarter. Is that that'll, the that'll bring in Mitchell Falkoff a pickup for the Slingers, who I believe uh, has not played the Slingers in about three years. The 27-year-old they brought him in for guard uh, backup because with Wu injured, Larry Liu also injured the other day a hamstring. He'll be out for a couple of weeks. Falkoff in the lane. Suddenly the Slingers long. Off the dribble, nice little head fake by him. He's got to back to 23, a tie and a real test early on here, Kyle, with a fortitude of the Slingers are going to have to do it without Xavier. Yeah, they're going to need to keep this game close uh, and not give up a, a big lead while he's out of the game. Yeah, Quack is doing well right now. They're, they saw Westport saw the Malaysian uh, the mismatch there on Quack and they took full advantage of it. Yeah. That has been the worry from day one when they found out that Delvin Go and uh, Low Russell Low weren't going to be in the lineup. What will happen if somebody gets into foul trouble? Well, early test of that in the second quarter here in the first game of the season. A little jump step move there. Back outside, it's a thud shot by Ung Bin Han. One and out. Back comes Malaysia. They have the two-point lead with 4:09 to go here in the second quarter, and there he is again, number 13. He's been doing it all. Freddie Goldstein off the dribble, left hand around the screen, throws it in the lane and away. Wong right there alertly picks it up, oh, goes man. to that right hand corner and immediately that throws it wet. away. I don't get it. That ball's wet. The ball's wet. You just saw. You just saw Goldstein. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch the ball. Yeah. So Goldstein, the ball slipped out of his hand, and then again here, Wong Wei Long was just gonna make a, a simple uh, fundamental pass to Quek on the wing, and again it slipped out of his hand. So both teams both caught a break there. Goldstein played, uh, he's a Thai American, so he qualifies as a heritage player. Played ball at South Alabama. Long three back rim, stepping in the lane again. Is long, that's rebound number three for him. Yeah, those are the rebounds they need to be getting that they didn't get in the first quarter, so they learned from their mistakes. They need to definitely uh, get, pick up all those loose balls. Every possession is going to matter in this game. Awkward shot there by Wong. He steps in the lane and gets the rebound. Howard fighting off Melvin inside. They get the ball inside to him with a post-up move. Kick back outside. Falls off with his first shot. He being no good. So Singapore all of a sudden being relegated to being a jump shot team. And uh, you know the saying, you can live or die by the jump shot. Tough to stay consistent. Melvin, he can hit them out there and go. Yeah, that's that's something that he cannot uh, let happen. You know, that, that was a good look. He caught the ball in motion, and he's a good three-point shooter. He's going to make some shots, definitely, if you leave him open. So they really need to get out there and close out on shooters, just like you saw there. But Quick is feeling it from the corner. You know, he's, he's knocked three of those shots out from the short corner. 
They, uh, it was a good closeout, though. It was a tough shot to make. Love to see catch and shoot at any level. Good example of that by Quet. The youngster fills it up. He's got 11. Goldstein around Melvin. Little scoop shot off the mark. Falls in from Quet over to Wong. He looks for running mates on the right hand side. Now getting the ball downstairs to Howard. Nice little jump step there. In and one for a chance for Singapore to tie it up right here. To the rescue, Justin Let's Howard see. getting underneath his defender. Yeah, I mean, that, that's something that we haven't seen for the past few minutes, and they need, to, they need to look to do that a little bit more. Attack the ball inside, be patient, pass and cut. And look to Justin to make a move, a good move there. He took the, took the contact, took the hit, and was able to get the shot in the foul. Coach Chris Thomas. Coach at the college level, the assistant level anyway, for three different college teams. Had his own team last year, the... A's in the Canadian Professional League and applied his trade as a scout for the Utah Jazz, Chicago Bulls, Golden State Warriors. So nice little pedigree he's built up for himself over the years, and he looks to be still a young man, Kyle. Yeah, that's right. You know, he's at that at that scouting level, it's something that is quite interesting because they look for talent. And when you when you have that on your resume to be a scout at, a, at the NBA level, you know where to find talent. You know how to attract talent. And I think he's got some good players here. In the trees, he goes and a score again for Quet Yon Young. He's a different player this season. He certainly obviously. is dominating, string bean like, but showing some strength there. Yeah, he's gotten stronger. You know, he put a little bit of weight in. I think he can hit the weights a little bit more, but uh, I think just by size and sorry by age, uh, and you know, he'll he'll just be stronger by default. There's no doubt about it, and we're seeing that right now. He's taking advantage of smaller players, getting in there, and and finishing some plays. This is second and one already in the second quarter. Listed at 6'7", he's playing more like 6'9", and 25 years of age. I feel he should be a little bit stronger, though, because uh, he is, he's been a pro for a few years. I'm not sure how hard he's, he's working in the offseason, but I think he should be a bit more stronger than he is. Kelvin Lim in the game, number 22 for Singapore. Now Howard again. Let's see who draws the crowd. Spencer. Little fadeaway. Oh, nice turn by Howard. One hand jumper. He's lethal from over there. Yeah, you know, same thing. Again, he's on the on the right side of the hoop where he's spinning baseline, and that uh, was a good shot. Way off the mark that time. Goldstein, last touch by number zero. Quick asking for the foul. They're saying that somebody had their legs cut off. And they, that that might have been a makeup call instead of giving Spencer the foul uh, because I I saw it come off of Howard. That's how the referees, you know, let the game flow. Sometimes to give away one thing, they got to give up another. And uh, yeah, that, that, was a, that was a smart call. You know, they didn't call a foul, they set the game play. And even though the ball might have came off Justin, the referee saw something different, and you just got to respect the call. Xavier Alexander squirming on the bench. And uh, as we said, job Singapore has is to keep it close while he's on the bench. Well, they've done that. Yeah. That's, that's their number one concern, but they got to take care of the ball. Good hustle play by Quex to keep it alive. Shot clock's still not in their favor. They got to look to score. I don't know if they recognize this. They got to get a good shot in here. Lim, little spin move by him, lost in traffic. Catch and shoot from the right side. Quex again. Leon Quex with a hot hand. He's got 14. He's living in the corner there. He's making a living out there, man. That's a good shot. He's got a good high release. He catches the ball at the mid-range mid level and just puts it straight up with a nice high-ranking arc. Wild off-balance shot there by Goldstein, trying to do too much. He's carried the team in his pocket uh, throughout the quarter, but that was uh, something he didn't need to do there. Quick now. Howard will take that shot from the free throw line, no good. One and out. Rebound by Quick. Knocked away. Good hustle play by number 17, Ung Ben Han, and off and running the center. They get it taken away. Up and in. So number 11, Wong Yi Hao. Nice alert move by him to step in the lane and take the ball away. Yeah, that was an unnecessary uh, turnover by Howard. He was rushing a little bit too much. He should have just slowed down to a jump stop and, and give it to his guard easily. But they're trying to get a, an open court. Fast well, break layup. Five seconds to go. Howard with the ball. He's got to get rid of it. One second to go. That's a bunker. No good. Well, the Slingers will take it, 32-32. They led by seven at the end of the quarter. Ferocious comeback by the Dragons. And as Xavier Alexander on the bench, we'll uh, come back for halftime highlights and other stuff after this.
beautiful Singapore at night and a beautiful sight here in the OCBC Arena. We've got a good one here, 32-32 at halftime. Defending champion Westport Malaysia Dragons against the second place last year team, the runner-up Singapore Slingers. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck Reiner with you. You look at the floor and uh, can't get any closer than this, sort of picking up where we left off from last year. We've got some highlights for you for the first half. First half. Started off uh, with a roar for this guy right here. There's Goldstein on the reverse, busting his way through two defenders to score. And you can see, see a lot of that here in the first half. Good ball rotation by the Slingers over in the corner. The return pass is downstairs to Howard, who's pushed away by number 54. That's Melvin. Another reverse getting inside. C4 not defending the basket that well, but in. The open court doing a great job early on. There's the finish there by Leon Quick. Two of his first half 14 points. Getting away from traffic that time. And scoring easily. Quick with the fade away from the opposite side. He could do it from the left, the right. He could do it from inside and out. The 19-year-old uh, starting off this season like the end of the last season. Long shot that time. And Long gets the ball to Alexander, who would go to the bench uh, rather shortly after that with three fouls. So foul problem for the Slingers in that first half. But they're going to work with Freddie Goldstein. Never missing a tick right there, hitting the three. He hit two threes in that first half. Good hustle play by them. What recognition to hit Spencer on the left-hand side. No weak side help at all that time for the Slingers. You can see Austria. Getting there a little bit late. Spencer with the flush. Then again, left hand. Stopping back outside to Melvin. Remember, the big man can't hit from outside. He did it with regularity at North Carolina State. Showing evidence of that again on the nice feed over his right shoulder there by Goldstein. Lighten it up from outside and the tongue wag for emphasis. Howard inside, losing the ball momentarily, getting the ball, the rotation again. Quick, who is nailed to that left-hand side and finishing it off. So at that point, Singapore down by two. Concern looked by Coach Neal is that by that time, Alexander is on the bench. Nice little spin move. Finding Quick, who else on that right-hand side? Nothing but net. That would do it. So 32-32 uh, at the end of the half. Let's take a look at some of the stats. 39%, 14-36 20 from the floor for the Slingers. 12-38 for the Dragons, 32%. 27% from threes, 11% from threes. And we do have an interview with Michael Johnson. Look at the rebounds. And uh, we'll take a look at hear what Michael said at the beginning of the game. Great season for us, 16 and 4, best in club history. Uh, five game series against the Malaysia Dragons. We, you know, other than winning the championship, we couldn't have uh, asked for more. Off season recruitment always critical for a lot of teams. Probably no different from you, but it's pretty much a stamp hat team. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, actually, we've lost uh, three or four players from last season due to national service uh, commitments, which is, you know, th three or four of our key players, including uh, Delvin Go. So it's made us much smaller this year. Uh, we brought in a couple other local players and given them an opportunity. So they're exciting young kids and uh, they're working hard. So we'll just have to see how we go tonight and see how we can build and, and improve throughout the season and hopefully have some, uh, get on a run like we did last year. Uh, this year, obviously, a new look, a couple new cities uh, involved in the league. Uh, how do you think that shakes out strength-wise for the league? Oh, look, I, there's, I have no doubt that this year will be the toughest the league's ever been. I think the parity in the, in the league is going to be great. Hong Kong and Taiwan are both embrace the opportunity to come into the ABL and they're both going to be very, very strong. And the new Filipino team uh, is very, very professional, backed by the local TV station and they've signed up some very, very good players. So I think they're going to be uh, tough. So on any one night, I don't think any team uh, can be taken lightly and every from top to bottom can, can win each night. You just signed a three-year uh, deal with a Star Hub, so you'll be broadcast on a regular basis for the next three years. How's that make you feel? That's no, great. We've been working on that for 10 years, and it's a, it's a big part of, uh, of sport and basketball and any sport in general that uh, you, to get a TV deal so you're on all the time. And Star Hub's going to show all 60 league games, so it's not only great for the Slingers, but great for the league itself. So 
we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're looking forward to the fact that uh, our fans can see us uh, live on the road as well, which is, uh, which is great. You alluded to it before, but uh, one step short uh, compared to uh, last year, this year, you're hoping to turn it around. Exactly what's it going to take to just take that extra step and win that game five when it comes down to that? Yeah, well, we got to get there first because, as I said, it's uh, the league's tougher this year. And uh, as I said, the new teams in are, are going to be tough. And we're, we're not the same side we were last year. We're smaller. Uh, we're younger. Um, so we've definitely lost some, uh, some players that, that got us there. So until we actually start playing the games and see how we, we go, uh, it's hard to indicate how we'll go. But our expectations are that we'll do well. Michael, thanks a lot and good luck for this upcoming season. Nice little in-depth interview with the COO of the team, Michael Johnson, his uh, outlook on the team for this year and beyond and the uh, deal that uh, they struck with the Star Hub, who are sponsoring this uh, season, 2016-2017. Look at the crowd here, 32-32 at the end of the half. Xavier Alexander on the bench with three fouls, but other than that, uh, pretty much an even day for both these teams of champions playing the runner-up teams when we come back for a second half action. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, 32-32, your score, Chuck Schreiner, Kyle Jeffers here, and Kyle checking a look at the uh, first half stats. We look 14 to 36, 38.9 for the Slingers, 12 for 36, 33 in a third for 
Westport Malaysia Dragons. You look at this, you, you're probably thinking, yep, this is the first game of the season because yeah. uh, the stats don't really <laughs> jump out at you. That's exactly right, Chuck. You know, and the thing is, oh, West, uh, Westport Malaysia Dragons, they definitely uh, played a better second quarter by shooting 12% more than their first quarter at 21%. So that's an improvement, but the Slingers are still struggling. Um, and I think their three point, their three point percentage, you can tell, is definitely uh, they're trying to shake off those the, the, those early those early minutes, and uh, hopefully they have a better second half shooting. Malaysia's not too much better, but still two more shots is, is better than uh, just only not nailing down one as the Slingers did. Turnovers uh, seven to six in favor of the Westport Malaysian Dragons. Not too bad. You, you want to keep it under 12, 13 a game for sure. They're, they're, they're right there as far as that goes. And you're talking about three points shooting, one for nine for the Slingers. A paltry 11.1 percent as opposed to three for 11.7.3 rebounds. Six O boards for both teams, so nothing in it there. 25 rebounds for the Slingers, 21 for the West North Malaysian Dragons. Really can't tell much by that stat. You want to look at uh, individual uh, stats up quickly in the way for Singapore with 12. Ditto Howard, uh, uh, Justin Howard. Six for Alexander. Remember, he spent a lot of time on the bench on the other side of the ball. Of course, Freddie Goldstein, the guy that you were singing the praises of, uh, uh, Quek, uh, Yuan Quek Sion, nine points. and. Uh, he uh, was a revelation in that first quarter, four yeah. or five from the four. Yeah, you know, yeah, he, 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 he came in there in the second quarter, and he in the first half, he, he did okay, you know, for his, probably this is the most he's, he's produced on a basketball court in his career. I don't know what his career high is, but I know it's probably not too far away from nine. Uh, but yeah, as we're, as we're talking and looking at numbers, nothing really is too much um, coming out on top. They're all pretty much even. What I do feel is gonna be the big uh, point in this game is going to be who wants it more. You know, it's the first it's the first uh, game of the season. Who's going to grind it out? Who has the most grit? Who's going to play with more heart? And who's who's going to who's going to pull it out? Who wants it? Alexander in the game, so he'll be playing with three fouls. A little bit of a surprise. I might have thought he'd be on the bench for the first five minutes. They don't think they can do it without him, obviously. So we'll see how aggressive he is on the yeah. defensive end. Yeah, he's their energy guy. So I know they want to come out and strong in this in this first, uh, first few minutes of the second half. Uh, but one thing is for sure, uh, Alexander needs to play very smart. He cannot gamble at all. He needs to stay in front, not try to reach. Big three there by Singapore. By number 17, that was on his first score. Yeah, that was a big three Rubbing off of the screen, good job by him. Good uh, ball rotation also by Singapore in that last possession, Melvin. And now we're seeing the same thing with, with Westport here. They're, they're moving the ball quite well. They got a decent look. But again, when you start when you start playing it again, uh, whether it's the first half or the second half, you got to work on that on that confidence. Uh, I don't advise taking long threes. You know, you just got to try to get in low, get your bigs involved, try to get to the rack, get your confidence up, and then soon everything else will start falling. But here, I know what, Howard's looking at the weak side. You can see him looking. And, oh, another three that time. Alexander, his second triple of the game. Very unusual for the X-Man. That was a good shot, you know, he caught the ball in, in rhythm. It was four, four seconds off. He had just got an assist prior to Hong Bin the previous play, and uh, he's just feeling okay. That was a shot he'd be very reticent to take last year, but this yeah. year, as you say, uh, he has been working on it working in the offseason. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. I mean, it's proven, it's, it's, it's coming out. So that was a good shot, good find by Howard on the weak side, and uh, a great shot by, uh, by, by Alexander. However, on the other end, uh, that, that foul by Howard, I don't know, if it's just something that um, if the ball is just right there, you want to go and get it. Uh, but Howard needs to be careful and not pick up any quick fouls here in the second quarter, uh, in the second half. That's his first foul, so he's okay at the moment. But point well taken. Very awkward looking shot there by Spencer, but he gets it to go. So Thomas sort of likes it too. So 38-33, five point lead. Wong with the ball, rotating to the right is and flashing across is Alexander. He's got the ball. Loves to attack the basket, get it out of here. Spencer coming across, and the ball landing right near us, Kyle. Yeah. That's just moments for the commentator. Yeah, I almost went out and grabbed it myself, but decided against it. There it is, coming our way at 100 miles an hour. Howard inbounding to Wong. That's a good curl move right there. I think Alexander needs to go up with that. That was a good look. Sometimes. On the floor it goes, and 
wrapped up, and we'll see where the possession arrow goes. It's headed, it's headed the other way. I think I think uh, Alexander he should have just gone straight up with it. But sometimes that first look is going to be your only look, and then after that, uh, once you pass it up, you're not going to get another look like that again. I think he was just a bit too slow to, to do what he needed to do. Now the pressure, the, the 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 singers are picking up the full court pressure, and now Malaysia definitely needs to adjust. Ma in the game right now, the captain. Played sparingly this first game. Rubs off a one screen. Gets the ball over to Spencer. Spencer, long cross court pass. Good ball movement again now to Melvin. Bumping up against Alexander. Attacking him. Ooh, boy. Close right there. Yeah. Alexander could have picked up a foul there. He did not. Yeah, yeah. The smart play, though. He got him straight up. He was in his cylinder. He got a, He has a bit of length on, on Melvin there. And, and Melvin with no lift under his shot. That's going to be... For him. Good move by, by Quick. There's Quick again, Great right move. in the gut of the defense. Free throw line to Cutting the left up. side. Cutting him up. He's scoring from everywhere now. You know, he's got his confidence up. He had a good season last year, and now he's definitely back outside again. Long three, and uh, Malaysia sort of falling in that same trap that Singapore did midway through the second quarter. The kick back out. To get the O-board in the corner. Nice defense there by Ung. Wrapping up his player. Let's see which way the ball goes. It'll stay in possession. This is now where you got to be smart as a slinger. You got to discuss what you're going to do on defensive on the defensive end. Are you going to switch everything? You're going to protect the basket, close out on shooters, try to deny everything. They shouldn't be giving up any any easy points here. There you go. With the, Stolen, with the nice job, but he stepped on the inbound line. So unfortunate for Singapore. Great reaction to the inbound. So the then, shot clock down to six seconds on that. The referee yeah. coming over to just check and make sure. That's what they need to discuss is who had, did, did, did Alexander have possession before he stepped out of bounds? Or did he get possession and now you're going to reset the shot clock? This yeah, is what they're, they're discussing. Say they're saying he had a possession. Yeah. And I don't know if that's the right call because they called it as soon as he caught the, he They called the out of bounds as soon as he touched the ball. So, so now they've moved it back to 14 seconds. That's not going to be the right call. It's going to be five seconds, at least yeah. five seconds. Then he's going to knock off one more second here. Well, now they say six, so that, which is a physical impossibility. You're saying that no time came off the clock well, at that's, all. That's you possible. Count one right there. Well, no, that's possible. If he did catch the ball out of bounds, uh, then th there should have been no time. That was the right call by the refs and a good defense. Long good defense. shot by Melvin yep. is off good the call. mark. Good call. The call by the referees. That was they. They handled that 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 situation quite well. That's that was very good. Uh, good good officiating. Under 6:50 to go here in the third quarter. 32-32 at the half. So Singapore stretching it with a little 7-1 mini run coming out of the half. Alexander with the crossover back outside. Howard will take that shot all day long if you get it. There you go. Yeah, you know, he has made, he didn't make a jump shot earlier on in the uh, first half, but he's going to keep on shooting it, and uh, that was a great open look and good find by Alexander to, to hit his open big man. We saw Howard do that often last year. Nice little spin move inside. Goldstein can't get it to fall. Spencer, instead of grabbing the ball, tips it. Right into the hands of Singapore, two on two. Alexander losing it in traffic. Last touch by who is, I think, Ma. Alexander looking for the foul. He's not going to get it. I think yeah. that's what he was looking for. Yeah, he's looking for the foul, but, I mean, this is a man's game. You can't expect him to call everything. So Quek will inbound it. Rotating off of that is Wong. Goldstein on him, turning the corner is Ung, back outside it goes. Alexander will hitch it up from the left-hand side, Ung with the cross. That's an interesting Thought matchup, it. yeah, it's an interesting matchup with Melvin on a hump in there. Uh, but um, they're doing a decent job. Yeah, way off balance shot that time by Ung. I think he was caught in between, didn't know whether they got it in the air, and didn't know whether to pass it or shoot it. Yeah, but they got that, they did, the ball did hit the rim though, so. So good reset on the shot clock there. Uh, Westport's got to definitely grab those rebounds. They can't. They can't allow it to just slap the ball around. They got to grab it. So Wong from the baseline, look in, pass Alexander with the clutch. Nice shot by Howard, sucking the defense up. All it took was one move, cognizant that he knocked that shot down earlier. They started to move their feet. Look, great recognition by Howard. Good job by Alexander to stay put on the block. Yeah, yeah, great pass, good cut, good cut and step in there by Alexander. They got a good look, 
They're spreading the mess Westport Malaysia dragon out quite well, but I do feel that matchup between Melvin and Humbin is a bit awkward because you don't want your, your import player chasing uh, a guard around because you're going to tire him out. He's going to be out of position and not be in position to grab those rebounds, and I think they're struggling right now because of that. But it's falling in the favor of the Slingers, and they're taking full advantage of, of, that, uh, of, that, of that situation and, and really... Um, Exploiting, exploiting the weaknesses on the inside with Melvin running around. On the other side of the ball, great job by the Slingers. As we said, with Alexander sitting down for a large part of the last part of that second quarter, they were able to stay close and able to do their magic here in the third quarter. That was just a beautiful play there. I and mean, that's mid-season form stuff right there. You don't see a lot of that in the opening game. And the lookout with a rumba butt to the back by Alexander as he lets go of the rim, and he looks fired up. Yeah, he's a, he, like I said earlier, he's their energy guy. It's certainly one thing that uh, the Slingers need to continue to tap on is, is the energy that Alexander brings. And now they got, a er, they got an early lead in this second half. They need to keep it. They want to really, really make a statement in this first game. Well, you look at the lead, 12-1 run here. Remember, it was 32-32 at the half. So Malaysia, in almost five minutes of basketball, has scored a total of one point, a tribute to the defensive pressure that the Slingers have put on. And, and they're more. doing it. They're doing it right yeah. now. They got the second half. They got this pressure going on in the second half, and this is something that they can afford to do because they are so guard heavy and very, very quick. They've been training for this all day, and that's what they want to do. They want to rush them, make them jump to pass, and 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 uh, hurry up their decision making. So I think the Slingers have the right defensive strategy to start the second half and, and continue it throughout. Melvin with the mismatch on Alexander. Let's see how this is played. Up he goes, and uh, Alexander did the right thing. Again, he straightens him up, but uh, Melvin in that particular instance just a little bit too strong. Alexander doing the right thing. At least he didn't reach over. Yeah, you know, Slap the, him with the that's arm. That's exactly right. He, again, he played him straight up, and the yeah, referees could have called that because he did hit his shooting, his shooting arm, but again, he was going straight up, so it was okay. Alexander. There's a foul there, and that'll go against number 20. That'll be low sheath by number two on him. Right before that, a good move oh, inside man. by Alexander. Watch this. Runs into a steel curtain right there. Melvin looked like he was moving his feet. No foul called, and there you go. Easy call for the officials right there. Yeah, it was a smart, smart foul by uh, Loshi Fai. You know, he got him. He got him all. The ball was still on the ground and not going in the shooting act. Even though I think that could have gone both ways, but uh, they gave the foul to him early. So, so a very smart pass inside. Oh boy, yeah, and falling to the ground is Alexander. Great looking pass there by Quick. Unfortunate for the Slingers, couldn't do anything with it, and they foul. That'll go against Wong. Let's see if he gets a continuation on that blocking foul. Two shots, no. Great balance that time by Freddie Goldstein. Check this out. In traffic, he's able to keep it going. And then the follow there by Spencer. So another Malaysian player touched the ball. Goldstein at the line. Fabulous first half for him. What an addition, Kyle, he's going to make to this Malaysian team. I know they lost a lot. They lost right. You know, they lost a couple other guys too. But they don't lose just a whole lot with Goldstein in there. No, he's a quick guard. He does, he does fill in the place of Brickman decently. Um, but one thing I am noticing, though, they're not be relying so much on their import players. You know, they don't have a full roster here of, of uh, Filipino imports or whatever it may be. So it is a completely different look than the past Malaysian teams. And it's going to take some getting used to. But overall, I think it'll be great for the development of their, of their local players. I totally agree, especially that's where Quet comes into the picture. In fact, with the first half that he had, there's a foul. I believe that will go against low again. If it is, that will be three on him. Having a hard time trying to mark up with Alexander. Yeah, it's a tough assignment, but you know, that's something again that'll get your local players stronger and better. Screen thrown by Howard and a foul. Let's see who they give that to. Wow, will that be low again? If it is, that'll be four on him. Yeah, but that, he's a guy that he's not having a good night tonight, so. He's kind of indispensable, but uh, if he's on fire, you know, you want to keep him on the court, but I can see he's not, he's not his normal self in this first game. Long three there by Long, who's still on the snide. Scoreless here. That's, 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 that's And again, back comes Malaysia. A little dipsy doodle play right there by Goldstein. Last touch by who? Yeah, well, one uh -oh, thing. Oh, it's just a foul on Alexander. That's, that's one thing that we need to, 
that we need to take note of is, is who this ball came off of. But the Slingers have been, you know, they're sleeping a little bit now ever since that timeout. Now they're coming out and and the Westport Malaysian Dragons are not are, are not giving up easily. So the Slingers need to not fall into the same trance that they have in the past and, and have these comfortable leads and then give it up to the to their opponents. To oh, the fact point. where to the fact where, you know, they can they, they, they Westport thinks they're still in this game when the slingers should be really trying to put their put their foot on the throat and, and keep the gas pedal on and not, not letting them back in the game or get any kind of a look. Howard with the jumper from outside. Nice rebound by Jeff Reno, who just checked into the game. Howard coming over with the assist and a long three by Long will not be denied there. That's a triple. So the lead jacked up to nine just at the right time, as we were saying, as you were saying, Kyle, letting uh, Westport Malaysian Dragons back in the game, delivering a decisive three there. Melvin off the dribble, inside. Howard that's knocks it. it away. And that, was a, that was a lazy play right there. He didn't attack hard enough. And I think that's just something he's not, he's not used to. That's something that quite needs to not give up. Melvin with the finish there. Getting it. Yeah, he's lucky. He's lucky he got got caught caught, caught back, and, and the Slingers did not recognize that, and, and didn't have a safety to, to recover that. And that was an easy two for Malay for Malaysia. Used to call that cherry picking in the playground. Yeah. And they stepping in the lane to knock that away, and falling down. And uh, man, I wonder if there's a wet spot down there or something. That's the second or third time we've seen the players sort of skid in that same exact spot. So some housekeeping probably will come out here. Ball out of bounds. Watch it again. Nice little lead pass. And there it is. And that's dangerous stuff there. Another look at it. Yeah, that's, that's something that you don't want to, you don't ever want to see. But sometimes it's, uh, that's the risk you got to have out here on the court. It kind of looked like he twists his, twists his ankle a little bit and then banged his knee. Uh, but he's shaking it off. So he's able to walk. It looks like he's walking fine. Wong Yi Hao. He's a bit shook up, but he's, he's, ready to, he's ready to get back in there. I don't think. I don't think he did anything uh, detrimental, so he'll be good to go. That's the thing about basketball players, you get a twist here and there in the ankle, it's nothing, uh, it's nothing too big. He'll be all right. The 20-year-old, in fact, is okay. So the Slingers will inbound it with 2.54 to go here in the third quarter. It's been a good one. Tom is still gone with the referees. Yeah, but you know, you notice the score when you had mentioned they went on that 12-1 12, that 12 run. The Dragons have come back into it, so Slingers need to be well aware of this and continue to try to close this last two, 245 out in the third quarter to, to try to keep Malaysia away from their confidence so that they can stay in this game. And they might want to make sure if, if the minute or something left also to get Alexander out of there if he doesn't pick up a fourth foul, the ball back outside. Alexander gets in the lane, back smart. outside. Quick with the long three, very good. That's, just, that's, that's actually right. I mean, I don't know how long they want to keep Alexander in there. They want to give him a break just so he doesn't pick up that fourth foul. Uh, but that's something that the uh, coaching staff needs to decide on what they want to do. Rickman with a three, no good. Three. Trying to quick step Alexander outside there. Execution was lacking. Desmond O off the dribble. Circum navigates in the lane, throws the ball away. Wow, both these teams playing sloppy the last couple of minutes. Little backup jumper there is off the mark. Weck with the rebound. He'll come away with it. Under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Left hand dribble. Howard with the ball using his shoulders. Back out again. Got it. That's a good play. Good patience. Great find by Leon Quick. Attacking, attacking the fast court. You know, and then coming to a solid, complete jump stop, which has been a great addition to the, the guards passing and then finding a cutting uh, Howard who did not shuffle his feet, got good position and powered it up through the foul to get the to get the and one, which is much needed right now in this uh, third period. If Leon Quick is a real deal, what a bonus he would be for the Slingers, especially because he, if he can solidify that number two position, you know, you have to take a defender to go on him one-on-one -on -one and it does open up other opportunities for other players. And also, Russell Lowe apparently is going to be back on the roster at some point in December, so health is on the way. Wu with the hamstring injury, he's going to be gone about three more weeks, so Slingers need to hang on. The first part of the season will be challenging, but if they can yeah, just hold on. I think they, I mean, they got the grit, you know, they, they got the, uh, the, uh, the experience across the board that I think they're going to be fine, no matter who they, whoever they feel, they're going to have a strong team. But it would be nice to beef it up a little bit with some size. I'm sure they can, uh, 
Yeah, definitely use some alphas as the big imports for the singles. Lofty play there by the Dragon. They gotta be careful, they got the shot clock still that they need to be aware of. They got it up in time, great rebound by the Quack. Again, they're out of here. They're out of here. The open court to Howard! <laughs> Leon Quack, what a revelation! Catching Howard over the shoulder, wide receiver, check this out. Getting the step on Quest. Another point lead. And again, off the miss. Here comes Howard Fanny. And one. Well, they're just attacking him in the open court now. Now the is now on the back foot. Not, not attacking like they were. They're missing shots on the offensive end, and they're not getting back on defense. And now the Slingers are again doing what they were doing in the first quarter and attacking in the open court. And, and now they're making baskets, getting to the layups. And, and getting fouls and making them. Well, again, getting Melvin to backpedal, never a good sign for a big man. He gets caught uh, he's neither here nor there. Yeah, you got to stop him early. You know, you can't stop him in the paint on the on the no charge zone where that's already the launching pad. You need to stop the ball early. And for one, the guard should have picked him up a lot earlier and not let him get through the line of defense and then attack Melvin down low. Got low with Alexander in that situation. You saw him back and he accelerated. Yeah, exactly. You saw him going. He didn't see anything stopping. Here we are now with Alexander sitting on the bench. This is a good, good call by the coaching staff here on the Slingers to, to take him out, make sure he doesn't pick up any single foul and give him a bit of a rest so he can come strong in the fourth quarter. Meanwhile, a little backup jumper there finally. They needed that. Net. They needed that. So Goldstein cuts the lead to 12. Getting it across is long. He's got three in the game. Singapore playing much better here in the third quarter. Big turnaround. Desmono. They went on a 12-1 run for a while. Westport got it back to within seven blocks away. Quick steps in to get it. Nice quick hand by him. The fall away. Oh my goodness. See on oh, the turnaround. How did he even know where the basket was? Sometimes, sometimes those are the best shots to take. You know, he knew that the shot clock was going down and he had to throw it up. And uh, he's having one of those nights where he can make a tough of those shots. Well, short that time. On the other side of the ball by low, and that will do it. Strong third quarter for the Singapore Slingers. 32 32 at the half. They stretch in 14 point lead. They lead 55 41 at the end of the third quarter. You check out the replay. Watch it again. There's Desmond. He swings it over to the right hand side there. Long, long. Has the separation there. Penetrates. Ball blocked away. Now Quest out of the screen there. Watch this. Spencer with the block. There's the shot. That'll lead us to break. 55 41 Slingers over the Dragons. Five forty-one. Singapore stretching it. They were tied 32 at the half. And look at that. Shooting percentage gone from 38 percent to 44, 24, 54, three of 13. They did hit two threes. Four of six up from the free throw line. 15 of 54. The Dragons pitiful scoring for them. 30 percent from the field. Three of 15 and uh, eight of 10. 25 rebounds really. Don't make uh, any difference in the game at all. Looking at the turnovers, Kyle, 12 for the Slingers, 9 for the Dragons. So Slingers 
despite not taking care of the ball as well as the Dragons, still lead by 14. Go figure. Yeah, I think a part of that is, is that the uh, Slingers have about 16 more rebounds than the, than the Dragons, so that's giving them more possessions, but the Slingers need to make sure they take care of the ball better in this fourth quarter. Well, the old boys will be more than a long three again, and it continues. My goodness, long way long that time. Everybody getting into the app. Yeah, it was a good shot. He's going to the ball in rhythm. And then that's the shot. He'll knock that down more often than not. Long pass to the other side. Wide open look there. In and out it goes. A little push there. That might go against Howard if it does. That'll be two on him. Looks like he pushed away a little bit. 9.22 to go here. Slinkers. 17-point lead. That's the biggest lead they've had in the game, obviously. Taking it out on the near sidelines will be 11. Wong Yi Hao. Throwing off of the screen is Goldstein inside the lane. He gets his head down and fires away. Yeah. Goldstein trying to put the team in his pocket again. 58-43, the lead up to 15. Yeah, this is the time now when you have to, to pick it up. There's, there's really no, no time left. You got nine minutes in the fourth quarter. You got to pick it up. It's the way players are. Beautiful pass. Spencer, you can see him getting there way too late to do anything about it. He should have closed him down as soon as Wong got the ball. He did not. This will happen more often than not. Check it out. Yeah, this is a good, great look. He re recognized there was no help side defense to it right over the top. Spencer's out of position trying to front him, and that was it. So that's, that, that's what Howard needs to be careful of. He started that second half with no fouls. Now he already has three. He needs right. to be really careful now. So both Alexander and Howard with three fouls. Oh. Again, though, quick not being square, not being scared at all, and attacking, attacking the bigs, and, and getting rewarded for it. But then he needs to make his free throws now, especially this late in the game. They, every point's going to matter. And there's your man, Quick, at the line again. Thomas starting to talk to himself a little bit. Spencer, a little bit of a tough introduction to the ABL. He has five points. Efficiency rating of minus nine, so nothing to write home about, that's for sure. Two of six from the floor. He does have ten boards. Yeah, he's, he's a young player. He's not as strong as some of these other guys out here. Uh, and I think he's just having a bit of a hard time trying to adjust in his first game. Oh, Melvin on him. There's a mismatch there for the kick out again. Wong with the ball, trying to force it inside the draft up. That'll go on Goldstein. So Wong doing it from oh, outside, oh, hitting a couple threes here in the second half. Thought he saw a glimmer of a slice of a lane, and Ung will check out of the game. No, he'll take the ball out the far sideline. So Wong again will line up a long three off the mark again. Taking the rebound is Lowe, who's back in the game, playing with three fouls. Deep pass there. Howard has to back off of Spencer with the little sky hook. Green now builds the bar lift. Yeah, that was a good move, you know, and he Spencer knows that Howard has three fouls. He's gonna attack him just like that. And, and Justin Howard can't really do too much other than play him straight up. He can't pick up another fourth foul with seven minutes, eight minutes left in this game. Alexander throwing over to that right side. Howard on Spencer again. Little spin move by him, losing contact with the ball, throws the ball away. I don't know what Justin see. is thinking there. Look like see him. We didn't see him. He just saw down low. He thought Quick was open in the corner where he's been hot, and then he wanted to give it to him, but he just wasn't there. He got a smart defensive play, but now they're, the singers have been doing what they've been doing all game long, and they need to stick with that. He's out of knowing that he's attacking the basket, getting in the open court, and that's the easy points that they need to get to keep on scoring, putting points, putting, putting scoreboard pressure on the team. Alexander, great acceleration once he gets to the lane. Very hard to stop. Nice little looking shot there by number 11, Wong. The lead cut to 14. We wind it down to seven minutes long with a long three. Yes, his third triple of the game. So a long way long, starting to feel it, matching the biggest lead of the game by Singapore, 17. 
Got to love that catch and shoot. Kyle, you know, about until about 10 or 12 years ago, that was a lost start. Now every player, you look on the playgrounds, everybody's catching and shooting now. Yeah, I mean, that's what you need to do as a, as a basketball player. You cannot be scared to shoot. You need to be working on your shot if you want to be a shooter, and you got to have the confidence to shoot the shot. So it's now about not about shooting the ball, it's about how fast you can shoot it. Off to you, checking back into the game. Had a rough first half, but see if he can dial it up a little. Wow. Uh, I think Austria here, he's, he's definitely hungry to get into this game and hopefully he puts in some productive minutes to, to make up for that first half. Oh, and give, give, give Wei Long a nice, a nice rest. And again, you see, you see the Malaysia Dragons attacking the middle. This is something that they need to continue to do to keep this game close because in, there, there's now teams that uh, imports are in foul trouble. And they got to put points on the board and, and continue to try to convert. Well, that was Ung Han Ben taking one for the team, literally. Send Melvin to the line. He, he's looking pretty ragged here. First game of the season had the habit of doing that to you. Hasn't been running the floor. And you can tell, always tell with a free throw shot there, woefully short. You feel it in your arms, you feel it in your legs. I mean, you've both been there, Kyle. And just, just, what do you do? Yeah, I mean, you can you can train as hard as you want on the offseason and run around that track. You can really put your body through it all you want. But as soon as you get in this first game, it's a completely different atmosphere, completely different experience and feeling that you're really never prepared until you get that first game under your belt and then you really know it. And soon you start getting in the flow, but that's what we're starting to see now. But now both teams are in that position. Who wants it more? Who pulls out by Malvin on, on Hung? Uh, again, that matchup is a bit interesting. And they just need to make sure that they, they try to continue to play hard. They got to grab those rebounds. Still advised. Shot, I thought, by Ong at the other end, but the uh, ball skittles out of bounds that time. It'll stay in possession of Malaysia. Let's check it out again. There's Goldstein off the dribble. Not boxed out. Um, Han Min just looking at the ball, not boxing out uh, Skyler Spencer when he saw Howard going for the rebound. As a guard, you got to be taking care of your bigs, and sometimes you got to put your body out there in front of them and box out so that so that the bigs don't get an easy look to the rim. Melvin, around the screen goes Goldstein. Goldstein. Back to Melvin. Long three locks up. Way down and off the mark. Off three with the board. And the board will slow it down. Post up move by Alexander. Now in the lane. Having his way gets get the ball knocked away. Goldstein back down. He's got off three in front of him. Nice little jump step ahead. Can't get the ball. Goldstein shot you've got to knock down, especially when you're 14 points down with six minutes to go. Off three yeah. leading the charge. Howard all alone. That right hand side in and out. Shakes his head as it comes down. Didn't yeah. feel right to him, I guess. Yeah, no, he, he had a good look. Uh, but again, it's five minutes half. Goes on Austria. And you know, those are the things you do. You're not having a good night offensively if you're Austria, but you step in the lane, you make a steal, you get the lead pass to uh, Alexander, and you know, your teammate finishes it up for you. Those are things that are great shape for your teammates. Even if not shooting the ball well, you figure out a way that you can help the team another way. Yeah, that's right. You gotta, you, and that's what you need to do as a basketball player. You know, it's not coming his way on offense right now, but. It, he caused that, Ali caused that turnover. And next thing you know, he got an easy look to Asha, I mean to, to Alexander, and nobody else is ready to get back for that. I think Malaysia's looking like a defeated team right now, and uh, the singers are out there having some fun. Love to see the first year guy here have some success. Kelvin there, number 22, getting ready to check in the game along with Dez Bino. Has played a whole lot of minutes. You might want to start thinking about when you want to shut down uh, Alexander and especially Justin Howard to give them a little bit of a blow. 749. You can see 12 8. Singers outscoring the Dragons 23 to 9. At one point it was 12 1 in that monumental third quarter for them. So measure of revenge here for the Singapore Singers. Remember losing it to the Westport Malaysian Dragons in the finals last year of the ABL in game five. A game that uh Justin Howard confessed to me after it was over. He really said they really thought they were going to go up there and win, and shocked when they didn't. They were beaten by a better team on the day by 15 points. But uh, mm -hmm. you know, you, you 
the mark of a good team. You know, they're coming back. They've got almost the same exact supporting cast, and uh, they're on a mission this year. Yeah, you know, they, they've really been putting in a lot of work. The Merlion Cup was a good test for them. They have the same exact team. The, the coaching staff and the management staff has been very smart to keep the team together. Yes, they lost some players, but, uh, you know, in Singapore, everybody that's been on the team is always very, very well supported. And, and those young guys, they always have a chance to come in. Those young local guys always have a chance to come in and, and produce. And I think that everybody's just ready, and they all want to win this championship this year. Chris Gonzalez, the big loss to them, of course, Austria brought in to replace him. It's all for the huge year last year. Howard with the two. That's his sponsor. So 18-point lead now, matching the highest lead of the game for the singers with 420 to go here in the fourth quarter. Another ball on the floor, and you can see Goldstein. There's the look. Yeah, a frustration, you know. He's a bit a bit tired, lost the ball again. Uh, they're just they're now they're now tired. They gotta that's where they gotta keep it going, you know. This is just the first game of the season. They might they might be losing by 19 now, but or 18 now. Uh, but you don't want this to be a statement for the rest of their season. It's just gotta come back, learn from these mistakes, keep on playing hard, use this game to get in shape, and they still gotta finish out four minutes and twenty seconds. They don't want this to deflate them for the rest of the year. Well, Alexander will slow it down to a jog now to get across half court, get the ball off to Brett. Been quiet lately, but what a game he's had. Off the screen, he goes off that. Finds Hung in the corner. Off here, gets the lane. Great record with near Hung all alone from Freesville. Got it. This is going to spat Michael Dagger right there. 72 51. Everybody getting in the action here and on the floor. A cramp or an ankle. Oh boy, I was hoping it was a cramp, but it looks like an ankle. So you hate to see that. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see how he, how he got knocked down. Oh, yeah, he just yeah, it right there. Yeah. Turned it right underneath him, so nothing that the opponent did. And of course, five on four, the game keeps going and running out at Unk, but uh, Spencer gets there too late. And so we're going to have to have some medical attention now. And uh, there's your man there. Yeah, that's I mean, he's, one. he's been having a good, a good night, night two. That's not how you want to, not how you want to leave the court after playing so well. Uh, that could be a bit of a setback after starting off so strong. But um, hopefully they can uh, recover this quickly, and it's nothing too serious. You never want to see a player limping off the court like that. He's, he's in a lot of agony right there, but you can see he was able to put some weight on it. There you go, right? Yeah. There. Oh wow. You can see. So a little inside turn of the ankle, stretch some ligaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably be out for a few weeks there, but uh, Westport, the, uh, the Laser Dragons, they'll get, him, they'll get him back in the shape. Four minutes to play under Goldstein, still rocking and rolling. Switch it to the left hand side. Alexander on him. Austria trying to steal Howard. Good help on the road. Well, he got in there and they gave up that easy layup. That was great rotation. Uh, that's something that all teams work on. Is that shell drill? And when you get the team rotating, you got to make sure you drop, drop the four to take, take away that and lay up for the big. And that's exactly what Han uh, Han Ben had just did right there. It's great, great defensive execution. White Spurs still in the lane. Little back up shot by Swift. He's been in that all day. He's been in it all day, <laughs> but uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes you just got to have that heat check. So Malaysia. Not going to get it done tonight. Wide open look there by Goldson. He knew he was going to knock that down. They're going to walk out of here with a loss. They had their moments. They were right in the thick of things. They came back very impressively. They were down by 12, and they came all the way back and tied it at 32. In fact, momentarily took the lead in the second quarter. But it's been pretty much all Singapore since. And there's a touch foul there. I that might go against Howard. If it does, that'll be four on him. It is. So let's see if that's his cue to go oh. to the bench. You don't want to. 20-point lead, 250 to go. I don't know. Yeah, these are decisions you got to make as a coach. How you want to play your players. Player management is very important in the game of basketball, especially in, early in the season. Yeah, that's good defense there. Again, Austria, he knows his offense has not been coming tonight, but doesn't mean he can't pick up his defense. That's one thing I always tell my players is you, know, you can control your defense. You can't control your offense. If you play hard on defense, you might be able to create your offense. So I think that's something that Ashley is doing. 
He's a smart player, he's got some good experience, and he's really picked it up the defense here in this, uh, in, this, in this fourth quarter. He does have quick hands. I think he matches up very well with Goldstein. Yeah, absolutely. And he's got a little bit of size on him too, so uh, Goldstein, yeah, he's been struggling a little bit here in the second in the second half, and he's missing that free throw there. That's something that you need to knock down as your as your uh, 14 goal points, goal. three dimes. Make that 15. So on goes to the bench. Coach Neal has to be happy at least the start, and I think the second the only weakness for the swingers I saw was in that second quarter when she said they let the Westport get back in the game. The ball's on the floor. Austria almost loses it. There's Freck again from the left hand side. Throws it up. He's been living off the corner. He's doing quite well. It's been a great, great evening for him. He's been, he's been playing really well and he's been knocking shots down in that corner. And that's where you're going to get a lot of shots as a shooter. Is and there he goes again. Good read. Oh. Leon Freck, can you believe it? Yeah, so he's, he's, he's done a lot of work to, to make himself a hard player. Look at this. Another steal on the finish. Yeah, another, another interesting point out here. Enjoy that West Malaysia is Malaysia's, uh, struggling with the ball, keeping the ball, and they can't even get it over the half court line now. And Sergio uh, is taking full advantage of this and enjoying it. Leon Quick with 20 points. Yeah. 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 there. Should be in the poster. We all, we all don't ever want to be in that kind of position. 20 points now. Nice little feed on self play by Austria. 22 for Howard. 20 for Alexander. 20 for Quick. 20 for Wild here at the OCBC Arena. Singapore I can't the handle this. 56 lead. Look at that. Nice just want to make sure the fundamentals of your coach go. You know, just don't turn the ball over, take care of the ball. If you're on the other side, you're all in there. Kyle, uh, you know, what are you saying with your coach Kyle? You're saying, keep it together, guys. Keep playing hard. Don't give up. Take care of the basketball. We're looking like a bunch of amateurs right now. You guys need to take more pride into the game. Yeah, it's not going in our favor, but we do not want this game to be the statement of our season. You guys need to pick it up. Be men out there, play hard, get your get your stuff together. And he's 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 pissed. He is pissed. Not happy at all. You look at the line score, that sort of tells it all. 23-9 the third quarter, 23-14. And I think more than anything, but you know, it, it's not the score line, it's how the score line got to be the way it was. As you said, a lot of laziness on defense, not taking care of the ball. White shirt stepping in the lane, picking off easy passes, going back the other way. And uh, just, just not a good statement. Yeah, no, they, 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 they came out a bit, a bit slow in the first quarter. They came back in the second quarter to tie it up. Then the Slingers came out in that third quarter and uh, really took it away and slightly gave them back a lead, got them back in the game, and that's what they needed right there. That's what they needed. They're just making a sub. I don't know why they're making the sub right now. It's not the right time to make the sub. Okay. Point lead, Melvin. Dishing another three. You said before, I mean, you wouldn't look at him and think that that was him, but uh, he looked like a mountain of a man now. I'm sure he was much more felt than he, uh, 10 years ago when he played for North Carolina State with the number six all time three points. He recorded with Pop in the lane. Volkov trying to get in the, involved in the party. Can't air ball. Ball down low. Spencer with the dish inside. Easy two there for low. So yeah, 78 to 60 with one team to go. Yeah, they needed this a little bit earlier in the game. Uh, but again, you know, first first game jitters, they need to keep it, they need to just keep their stuff together. It's a long season. Slingers are playing well. And Malaysia just needs to rebound and get back into it. Singapore doing a great job on defense. And I, I'm surprised at the amount of passes that were picked off in the lane. I mean, just very, very careless stuff that Singapore almost greedily stepping in and picking off and going back the other way. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're lucky that they had a good a good start to this game. And, and but the thing is, you know, Malaysia, they're, they're playing a little bit better now in these last uh, 90 seconds. And I think that timeout was well needed for his team. And I can imagine uh, that, that coach Christopher Thomas over there, he's like, you guys should have been doing this a little while ago. Uh, but again, they're learning, they're learning about each other. They're learning, they're trying to figure out the chemistry. 
and uh, they just gotta just stick together, you know. Everybody's falling out. It's, this is this is definitely getting this game is getting a bit old. And the guys they want to finish it off. Falkoff with the rebound that time. Austria running the offense. Falkoff again kicking the ball over to the left hand side. That's the build off here. Inside. A little reverse there. Can't get the goal. Nice follow by Howard. Also can't get it. Low with the ball now. Looking right. Camping out by the three point line. Turns, fires, fades. Can't get it to fall. Ball on the floor. Falkoff picks it up again. We pass to Desmond O. Desmond O. Almost walked with it. Gets it inside. Easy two there. For number 22, that's Lynn. So his first bucket of the game. Everybody on the board. 80-62. There was the almost walk, but uh, got a little two-on-one situation. <laughs> Again, that's just something he's got to slow down a little bit more, make your decision before you do it, get the ball on the ground, try not to rush it, but the referees didn't call anything, and they got that easy two on the fast break. Malaysia not getting back. So Alexander on the bench now, giving congratulations to the guys as they go by. I'm sure Howard will be right behind him. A nice, emphatic win for the Slingers, a little bit easier than one would have thought. You look up and down this roster for the Westport Malaysia Dragons, yes. They did lose a lot of good players, but they added a lot, too. Slinger is surprisingly behind one big reason. That guy right there, Leon, swept the X back in tonight. Yeah, well, he's had a great night, you know, and, and Malaysia just has to figure out their flow, how they're going to score, who's going to be their leader. And, yeah, I think the Slingers have to have, to have those goals and everything under their understanding. And he said, they had a great game, and the Slingers are good for that. Sometimes when your players are going to go off, others are not, and everybody has to just step up and play hard and keep it together. And in a game like this, it can go either way. But Singers definitely had a great one, and uh, they're ready to go this season. They want to they execute. They want to left off where they finished last year. 80-62, your final score. Three Singapore Slingers in 20 or more figures. Leon Quet finishing with 20. Ditto, Xavier Alexander. Howard leading all scores with 22. On the other side of the ball, well, Cast of really only one. Goldstein having a great game, finishing with 17 points. But besides that, Spencer, the young guy, had 14 rebounds, seven offensive rebounds. So good day at the offer for him on the boards, but not so much as far as scoring. Melvin Marcus lighting up at from time to time, hit four threes. A couple of those threes were in trash time, however. He'll finish with 21 points. So a good effort by the Slingers, good team effort, especially picking it up in that third and fourth quarter. A rough second quarter for them. They took their lead early in the first quarter, let the Dragons back into the game. They tied it 32-32, but the Slingers style never looking back once the third quarter started. Yeah, you know, they had a strong third quarter after the game being tied. They went up, what was it, 14 points there, 13 points, and next thing you know, Malaysia was starting to creep back in, but Luckily, the Slingers have learned from their mistakes from the past, and they kept that, they kept the pressure on and kept it going and, and increased that lead again. Okay, play of the day for you. Star Hub play of the day. As you see, Leon Quick, he's all smiles. He knows he had a monster game. Here we go. There's Melvin, and that was Leon Quick finishing it off. And look again, blocked away. Now watch Quick turning and firing as if there was one second left on the clock. There's to it, but he knocked that down. He Sometimes you're just feeling it. There it is again. There's your play of the day. The Star Hub play of the day. Star Hub, uh, what a successful inauguration of the 216-217 season. 80-62, 48% for the Slingers, 35% from the floor for the Dragons. Check out the rebounds. Big edge by the Slingers, 48 to 33. 16 turnovers and 14. It didn't matter. As Kyle said before, you look at the rebound differential. It was huge. Assists 23 to 9. Also big right there, but a big win for the Slingers. They come away with the 18 point lead. Again, Fleck with 20, Howard with 22, Alexander with 20, and uh, just a big win. Couldn't have asked for anything more for the Singapore Slingers as they get it done at home the first game of the season. So that will do it here. Next up, the Alab Filipinas team against Singapore Singers. That's on the 27th of November. That will be on Star Hub on the 27th, 7 p.m. Don't miss that. Alab Filipinas against the Singapore Singers at their place, not here at the OCDC Arena. We'll be back later for that.
more games to come for sure. Now on December 18th, the Slingers will be return match against the All of Filipinos. They are well coached, have a lot of good players, so can't wait for that. We'll see that on the 18th of December. We want to thank everybody, all of our production staff, from Kyle Jeffers, this is Chuck Ryan. The final score again, Singapore Slingers 80, West Point Malaysia Dragons 62. So long from OCBC Arena.